Japan's unique role in the food crisis. Barack Obama's challenge among Hispanic voters this fall. Thai citizens split over their government. President Bush's former press secretary publishes a highly critical new book. I'm Yasmin Sugin. And I'm Frank Newport. And this is Golf's Glance Around the Globe. Japan may prove to be a major player at a world summit in Rome today, called to discuss soaring food costs. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization assembled the meeting to discuss how to help the most badly affected nations. Japan's government is currently holding a huge stockpile of rice to protect Japanese farmers, which, if made available, could drastically reduce food prices. In early 2008, almost 100% of Japanese said there was never a time in the past year they went hungry. Hillary Clinton won an overwhelming 68% of the vote in Puerto Rico's primary on Saturday. This is suggestive of her great strength among Hispanics on the mainland. And it also underscored Barack Obama's challenge in trying to win over Hispanic votes in the general election this fall. We at Gallup looked at over 12,000 interviews conducted in the month of May. Overall, Barack Obama leads among Democrats by six points, but among Hispanics, Hillary Clinton has an 18-point lead, 57 to 39 percent over Barack Obama. Protesters in Thailand forge on for a ninth day, demanding the resignation of Prime Minister Samak Santarawe. The anti-government demonstrators are accusing the Prime Minister, who was elected in December, of being a puppet to the old government, whose Prime Minister the military overthrew in 2006. In 2007, Gallup polls taken in Thailand found that the people were evenly split over confidence in their government. Former White House Secretary Scott McClellan has received a huge amount of publicity about his new book, parts of which are harshly critical of his former boss, President George W. Bush. Among the American public, not a whole lot of sympathy for the president. At the moment, his job approval rating only 28 percent, tied for the lowest of his administration. The percent of Americans who disapprove of George W. Bush's performance as president is now at 68 percent. I'm Yasmin Vesugian. And I'm Frank Newport. And join us again for more of Galb's Glance Around the Globe.